Hey hey, it's Tom from Audio Ordeal and today I'm going to be showing you render settings and presets to make your life a little bit easier in Reaper. So what we have here is a video project, it's just a project for my last tutorial on Ableton Impulse, a really good video, check it out. But I have been editing this and I want to export it as a video and then I also want to export the audio just as audio. So what we can do is we can go onto File Render or Control O R, and we can open it up. So because my last project was rendering video, I have it all set up for my video rendering. But let's say I want to render it to MP3. I could go here. I could click MP3. I could select everything that I want. So maximum bitrate. Or what I could do, I could go into Presets. And I have actually created different presets for different renders. So for example, if I wanted a WAV of the audio, I could just click WAV Master and it has it here. So the easiest way to do this is to create what you want. So for example, let's say we want FLAC and we can go through all the settings. So let's say we want 24-bit FLAC and data compression, we could look at 8 or 0, let's just stick with 5, set everything we want, maybe we want it dithered and we obviously don't want them all to save as the same name so just wildcard and we'll set it to project and this will just name it whatever the project is. If you haven't worked with wildcards before it's really handy, you can add different ones so for example if you're rendering different tracks at different times you can render it here so click track and if we only render track 2 then it will say project 2 or we could even do track and then type track here and this will say the impulse sampler tutorial track and then the number 2. Because we're doing the master mix this doesn't matter too much but we might want to do for example the date so you could do day, month, year or if you're an American you could do month, day, year and basically whatever order you want you can also do various different things, for example, user, computer, region, um, sample rate, tempo. All these are really handy. So what we can do, we can go into presets and we can actually, on options and format, click save preset. And let's just type in flac master and say it is 24 bit. And we can save this preset. And now, every time we want to render it as FLAC, we can just select it. If we want to render it as video, we have our default settings here. And it's really handy because it just saves you typing through everything at once. Definitely make sure to check what directory you're in because I think with the FLAC one, I just have it in the videos one, which handy for me because that's where I want it. But if you're also producing songs, you might have different folders so for example if you produce music and podcasts you could have presets for all your podcast output which will go into the folder podcasts you could have a folder for your music and then you'd select directory my music or whatever and so pretty much everything here gets saved to the preset and so it just makes your life a lot easier this was just a quick video, thank you very much for watching if you have any suggestions on how you do your presets I'd really like to hear them, pop them in the comments, give the video a like if you enjoyed it and definitely subscribe, I will be doing more in the future so stay tuned and until next time, high pass everything.